Tingnan na natin pinag-usapan Pero it all comes down to execution Let's start game number one mga kaibigan Signal Ultra Warriors versus Suha Execration Punishers And, and let us go for the team rundown Parang touch Ito na nga sa side ng Signal Ultra Warriors Playing on the blue side We have Eason on his Franco Yako naman sa Aljus D on the Akai Few playing the Granger And Desanya on the Alice Suha Execration Punishers naman dito Ang gagamit ng Leo Mort ay si May Pakbet on the Esmeralda D Ang nagagamit ng Kaja Zapnu Ang magugasyon and Chaknu will be the gato. Ito, makita mo dito yung rotation ng uh, Suha Execution Punishers. Again, the, all, taking all of the resources since alam nila na uh, Esmeralda, easy pick off yan sa side ng Signal Ultra Wars kung sila yung mag-up mag mag ng momentum rather. Pero again, when it comes to the inning composition, lamang ang uh, Suha Execution Punishers, as you can see, rotating on the top lane, trying to steal the crab away from Signal Ultra Wars. Pero 3 versus 3 to, no, nahuk yata si Dian. But he is able to dash away, but Disanya taking a lot of damage here. Pero tingin ko wala ganong sila makakuha ang pick-off since the rest of the crew is still not level 4. May, will be forced to go back inside the tier 1 turret at uh, mukhang naka-clear up agad yung Signal Ultra Wars dito sa top lane. Magiging masaya sila doon just looking at how they stole that crab coin dito from the hands of Signal Ultra Warriors. Mm -hmm. At nakuha din ni Pakbet yung crab coin sa baba. So that means yung dalawang mage nila dito, they have the capability to snowball lang mas maaga yep. just because nakakuha sila ng extra gold amplification. Oh, pero pati resources. Alam na, alam na nila na uh, at least one of the best ways to control the line of Signal Ultra Warriors is to contest all of their resources. Falling Star man kagad para kay Pakbet. Si Pio magiging target. Pio able to run away. But Yaku... Stoking a lot of damage here, D. Mukha siya ako makakatakas pa si Chaknu. This, this is 3 against 2, mga kaibigan. Nakita na agad natin yung power ng Esmeralda early game. Once nakuha niya kanyang level 4. Off hook, medyo kunting kahibla na lang, mga kaibigan, bago siya makakuha. But as, uh, again, so as the Punishers, alam nila yung power spike nila. Control the Aldus as early as possible. Prevent mo siya makakuha agad ng stacks. Nice flicker out para kay Yaku. But Dian still trying to approach Divine Judgment. Huli ka boy, Zap, no! Uy, hindi sila doon, men. Pero okay lang. Okay pa rin. Pick Nakuha pa rin yun. Pa rin. Nakuha pa rin nila yung gusto nila doon. Eson dito trying to help. Pero inaabuso dito ng Swag Execution Punishers. Yung mahinang initiation capability ng Signal Ultra Warriors as of now. Hindi pa level 4 CD dito. Hindi pa nila kailangan mag-isip kung may tatama ba dito nga isang malaking hurricane dance. Para sa kanila. Disanya is the target. At hindi na siya makakatakbo. Signal Ultra Warriors, this is bad yung jungle nila na control ng Suha Execration yep. Punishers ng maaga. Ang, ang, ang ganda kasi talaga eh. Again, they have all the toolkits that they need. Meron silang burst potential para kay Zap Nu again with the Shadow Blade Slaughter. And they have that Divine Judgment for that easy initiation. And nakita man natin din, Suha Execration Punishers punishing Signal Ultra Warriors from those early small mistakes. Able to at least para kuha nila 50% structural damage dito sa tier 1 turret sa bottom lane ng Signal Ultra Warriors. Kapag na-takedown nila yan, again, yung access nila, yung, ang access ng Signal Ultra Warriors sa jungle area nila is mahihirapan. Makokontrol, makokontrol agad nila yan. Given the fact, sabi mo nga kanina, sa gatot, pwede agad siyang magresponde as easy as, uh, as popping the ultimate. So, mm. it's plus one lagi when it comes to those kind of skirmishes. They are not getting anything. Eson dito with a hook, hindi tatama kahit kanino. Mm -hmm. And looking at how uh, Signal Ultra Warriors is dealing with the pressure na binabato na si Execration Punishers, nakakalimutan nila na lanean yung mga sarili nilang lanes and at the same time kunin mm -hmm. sa kanilang sariling mga jungle nila dito Eson Depress. with the surprise brutal massacre hindi tutupa si Dian Gatot with the in mga kaibigan Desanya dito will be the next target and look at this Suha Execration Punishers just Nakapag controlling the game 0-5 tayo ngayon wow. Signal Ultra Warriors potential nila dito is on the late game ang tanong kaya ba nilang dalin? Yun nga mahirap dito kasi kontroladong-kontrolado na si Execration Punishers even the resources of Signal Ultra Warriors at Jungle Area they're able to take down the tier 1 turret on the bottom lane and getting another one on the middle lane may hihirapan so tingin ko ang win condition dito ng Signal Ultra Warriors kasi kapag nakakuha ng isang magandang hook si Franco disabling pakbet kasi ang problema nga is nandun pa rin lagi si Gatot Katya kapag, kapag nabutan niya na meron siya nakitang meron na huli sa side ng Signal Ultra Warriors dito Q, trying to go dito mga kaibigan pero Q oh. pumasok siya sa may loob and the hook nahuli doon pero walang Brutal Massacre, mga kaibigan, may will be the target. D will get that kill and the Brutal Massacre, mga kaibigan, kay Dian. Ito na ata yung bawi na hinahanap ng Signal Ultra Warriors. Pero makakatakbo ba si Dian? Makakatakbo si Dian with the emote. With the emote. With the emote. 
Kung Kinda baga, sila ka-confident. Takas ka na, may kasama pang Paul. Oo. Oh, kung kung baga oh. parang, sige, okay lang, habulin nyo, habulin. Oh. Ang daming oras na nasaya, ang with the nice hook from Eason. Makakontrol natin na si Zapno. Medyo nagdelikat ito ba? 3 vs 1, mga kaibigan. Zapno trying to run away. Thousand pounder in. is slowing down Zapno. But again, one more hit. Second skill ni Eason. Taking down the life of Zapno here. Ito yung kailangan ng Signal Ultra Warriors. Alam nila, nalamang yung suwais ng Asian Punishers with their early game. Yes, but as, as long as you're contesting every single target here, Falling Star Moon, sa top lane, si Dinaman with the, forcing the Turrican Dan. Locking down Pakbet, forcing three members of Suwai Secretion away, and also nice disengage para sa side ng Signal Ultra Warriors dito. Nice move coming out from uh, D. Ginamit niya agad dito yung kanyang uh, Hurricane, Hurricane Dance, Dance para hindi na magkaroon ng problema. Two siege uh, uh, minions mm -hmm. on the bottom side, the ar artillery, uh, artillery. Yep. Ang hirap sabihin, artillery. artillery. Okay, yep. pero Bay, mananakaw niya yun kay Yako. Yako dito still trying to find a way to get back doon sa may uh, network church natin. Yep, napagandang ho para kay Eason. Kaya ba nilang patayin dito si May? May trying to run away. No, but that was made from the Sanya. Mukhang abot yata in one, uh, one punch man, mga kaibigan si Yako. Nakakuha na naman ng stacks. At syempre, if you're ahead sa side of the Sanya, so you don't want to give a lot of this unnecessary kills sa side of Signal Ultra Warriors. Alam naman natin, kapag si Aljus nakakuha ng malaking stacks, lahat ng target, even the Esmeralda, will rip through kapag umabot na tayo ng late game. Kung papasinin mo dito yung line of the Signal Ultra Warriors, ang, ang inaabangan natin sa kanila dito is yung, sabihin na natin, uh, unusual scaling. Mm -hmm. Si Alice, may unusual scaling siya, oh. na kaya niya dumampot ng orbs at kaya maging potent ng skills niya, mm -hmm. na hindi natin manasabi, as long as the game progresses, nag-scale up yan. Yeah. Pare, si, almost the same with Aljus. Oh, si, Aldo, si, Aldo, si Aljus naman, ganun din yung sa kanya. Mm -hmm. Nakapagkasabihin natin dito na umabot yung game ng sobrang tagal. There is a chance na pwede niya ma-one hit lahat to. Tama. Pa pa pati lahat, ano eh, lahat hindi sila ganun kakunat eh. Except, well, except for Gadot Kaka. Uh, well, tingin ko power spike talaga eh. Uh, Signal Ultra Warriors, napaganda ng ginawa nila. Again, lamang sila, lamang yung Suwai Secretion Punishers. Kailangan, nila, kailangan lang nilang sumalpok ng sumalpok. And also, controlling the side lane since naiiwan agad dito si, uh, si Leo Mortz ni May. So, and uh, the next objective will be the Turtle. Suwai so, Secretion Punishers, they have an upper hand when it comes to positioning. Pero alam na ng Signal Ultra Warriors na nagtitake sila ng Turtle. But I think na hindi nila i-contest dito sa bottom lane naman. We have four persons from Signal Ultra Warriors trying to catch out. Suwai so, Secretion Punishers here. Zapno trying to go in. Oh! Dito, first may nagdidi siya pa rin ng damage Eason, still trying to suppress this Leomord Gatot, mulang pumasok, hindi enough yung damage But D, with a nice thousand pounder Taking down May And sa side naman, Zap Nu, Yaku Mo ang iniiwas niya lang ang stun ni Yaku dito But again, the fight still continues On the middle lane, Chak Nu and Pakbet Will safely run away 3 into 2 exchange sa side Ng Su Execution Punishers dito Well, at least they're able to capitalize on their advantage. Looking at the net worth now, 22,300 sa side ng Suwai Secretion Punishers, 16,500 naman sa Signal Ultra Warriors, ang laki pa rin ng laga ng lamang. And as you can see, even the items of Esmeralda getting the Calamity Reaper on top of the Feather of Heaven, plus meron pa siyang buff ng Turtle and also the Blue. So ang laki ng threat talaga dito ng Esmeralda. Ang laki ng threat, pero kung titignan mo siya ako dito, medyo tagutom siya. Kumuha siya ng Pillager Axe and at the same time, kumuha din siya dito ng wooden mask because mm. he's abusing the fact na kailangan niya talaga magsolo dito. Uh -huh. Getting the solo gold plus yung gold na binibigay pa sa'yo ng mismong mask because of the passive na thriving, mm -hmm. ma-amplify yung the, ano may, sabihin natin, mag magiging maganda yung progression ng iyong farming just because dalawa yung pinakukuha mo ng gold. resources, yeah, mm -hmm. indeed. Kasi, kasi alam din naman nila na, ano eh, na nakukuha na ng Suwai Secretion Punishers dito yung farm, yung resources nila sa jungle area. So the best way to find farm is using the mask. Kaso nang kinokontrol pa rin ang kinokontrol ng Suwai Secretion Punishers dito si Yaku. And at least the response will be there sa side ng Signal Towards, but they are able to take down another tier 2 turret sa side ng Suwai Secretion Punishers. Si Zapno naman, tama nag-aabang lang sa Gedi. Nag-aabang na maganda opportunity for them to go and engage pero sa pakwit naman nakakuha naman isa pa isang outer turret na lang naiiwan sa side ng Signal Ultra Warriors mga kaibigan at medyo nagdedelikado kailangan lang taga nilang makakuha ng isa pang at least mga 5 minutes mm. isa pang sila tawag natin na hook para kay Zapno with the control from the uh, from the katot with, again the, ang daming skirmishes na nangyaya dito falling storm with the tamahan dito si, uh, si Alice at Ellie Alice will go down Zapno still going back shadow blade slaughter the damage not enough though pero si Eason mukhang makakontrol siya ni May again the dash Hindi siya makakatakas. Si Yako nila ang nag-iisang, naiiwan sa ng Signal Ultra Wars dito. At tingin ko, medyo may hihirapan na ganito si Yako. Hindi pa siya enough. Hindi ba enough yung stacks na mga nakukuha niya. At hindi hihinto ang Suwai Secretion Punisher dito, mga kaibigan. 5 oh, to 12. Divine Judgment, Zapno oh. going in for the Shadow Blade Slaughter. And this might be it, mga kaibigan. 
So, execution punishers, they can end the game right now. Pero tingnan mo si Pakbet, doon sa may baba, kinukuha pa yung Lord. Mm, kasi uh, alam na yun na, ano, eh, nakaya na ng apat ng, ano, eh, ng Suwai Sigurdian Punishers yung, uh, well, i-take down yung dalawang turrets sa side ng Signal Auto Warriors. And I think it's also a nice opportunity for them para hindi mawala yung momentum, yung bilis na pinapakita ng Suwai Sigurdian Punishers ngayon. Pero alam mo, sabi ng Suwai Sigurdian Punishers dito, wala na yung dati sobrang aggressive natin, hindi natin pipilit na, hindi natin to pipilit agad-agad na matapos. Ang gagawin natin dito, bukulin natin yung Lord, gagawin natin to ng textbook, hindi tayo gagawa ng over maasim mo. Oo, oh, totoo yun. Kasi, ano eh, again, ang laki ng, ano eh, ng potential for a comeback dito ng Signal Ultra Warriors. Again, we're talking about stacks, mga kaibigan. Kapag nakakuha na ng stacks si Alice and also with the Aljus, it will be a different scenario sa side ng Suwai Sigurdian Punisher. So the best thing to do and prevent that from happening is to apply a lot of aggression sa side ng Signal Ultra Warriors dito. At hindi sila umihinto. Nakikita natin sa ating minimap, apat na heroes sa side ng Suwai Sigurdian Punisher is on the top lane trying to control the resources away habang si Mayna is to push sa bottom lane just to control the lane equilibrium. Okay, so Alice, ang ka, kailangan mag, talaga magdala ng uh, tempo ngayon. Kasi sa totoo lang, hindi nila nagawa yun nung una. Eson dito didn't really get the hooks na hinahanap niya. Oo, totoo. Masyadong handay su so execution punishers. At kahit man, merong makahuli ng hook dito, Yaku, ang naging target, Yaku, almost going down. Kaya sabi ni Didito, sige, tatangkihin ko muna itong Lord. And this might be the final fight. Oh, di ba yung judgment? Huling-huling nga si, uh, si Aeson. Pero yung damage pa rin. Design trying to do his best para makontrol. Pero hindi enough yung damage na nila. Life still hindi rin enough. The Lord will be, go will be going down. Bakit man nasa loob na between the well and also the inhibitor. Mukhang delikado yata yung signal ultra wires. At nung tatapusin na Suwai Secretion Punishers ang laban. Getting that first game on our best of three series. Binili Table landslide itong eh. Binilisan nila kasi... Oh.